Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. It is your host that does the most spiritual intellectual 777 here, coming at you from the house of greatness once again. And today we are going to be discussing pause and reflect. That's the topic of today's episode. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, you know, it's very, very important as we get further and further along our spiritual path that we take that time to really, 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 really pause and reflect on, on things, right? So for example, last night I was talking to my significant other, right? And me and her were just having, you know, just this deep ass conversation about just, you know, it was about me not in an egotistical sense, but in a sense of, you know, it was just evaluating where I am, right? And we were just talking and talking and talking and talking, right? And we just really just dug in there. And she was telling me like, yeah, you know, you have a prospering filmmaking and acting career, but has your life really changed that much? And I'm not gonna lie, I did get really, really triggered when she said that. And I was just thinking like, you know, who is she to tell me that my life hasn't changed all that much? And, you know, why, why is she telling me this? Of course, you know, I've been having a huge shifts, which has been true in a sense, but it's just like in my personal life, things haven't really changed as much because I was just, doing the same habits over and over again. You know, not really taking enough action towards what's really, really, really important, right? And that also, you know, I've just been going through a lot of frustration with, you know, scheduling shoot days and those getting canceled. And then, you know, she was telling me like, you know, wait, I don't think that she's told me that but i just had this realization that just popped up immediately of okay you know the universe is mirroring back to you what you've been doing to yourself so for example you know i just been encountering like person after person in my life overall that has just been putting their own needs and wants above my own and this has bled over to also me getting this project done, right? And then I've just been evaluating what has been happen happening to me thus far. You know, not only just now, but also to, you know, what's been happening throughout my life overall. And I realized that the universe has just been mirroring back to me at how I've been neglecting myself. And if you guys you know, are farther, for you guys that are farther along your spiritual journeys, or if you're at the beginning of your spiritual journey, or I'ma just say, quote unquote, beginning, because your spiritual journey never really begins or ends, it's ongoing, but just for like this lifetime's sake, I'm just gonna say beginning. So, you may have heard of the law of correspondence, right? You know, as above, so below, as within, so without. And that, you know, the universe is like a huge giant mirror and that it's just gonna keep mirroring back to you um, the vibration that you're on and what you keep doing yourself. So next time, before you just get in your feelings and get super duper upset, just pause and reflect on that moment. You know, instead of letting the anger and the sadness and the disappointment cloud your judgment and keep you from seeing the big picture is what is this trying to teach me, right? And I'm still working at this myself. I'm not perfect. I've gotten better at it along my journey, but I still have some fine tuning to do with this aspect of just really, really, really just like instead of getting super emotional and reacting negatively off the trigger is just identifying what lesson is this trying to teach me what is the overall bigger picture 
And, you know, and my significant other has to remind me of that from time to time because I'm not gonna lie, I do get caught up in my emotions you know, and just go off really on a deep end and I just start venting my ass off. But, you know, long terms, you know, in terms of the long term, it's not really serving my highest good if I'm just, you know, reacting, right? And so I'm still learning to master my emotions even more because I am a person that when I do feel something, I feel it very deeply and I want to express it. You know, which is a beautiful thing, but at the same time, without learning to properly control and master my emotions, or not, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just put control to the side for a minute and just say master my emotions. Because you can't really, because controlling means you're trying to stop yourself from feeling that emotion. But instead, when you master your emotions, or you feel it and you just, release it and see what is the overall lesson that this situation that you're currently in is trying to teach you. And it's not that, you know, the universe is cruel because I was thinking about that for that period of time where I was just in my feelings. <laughs> but really the universe isn't cruel. It's just really mirroring back to you what you're doing to yourself and the universe is just gonna keep doing that to you and doing it to you and doing it to you until you change that cycle that you put yourself in, right? And so I also, also, I also had these breakthroughs while I was really reflecting hardcore last night of, you know, the universe doesn't just give you information just to be giving you information. It gives you the information that you need according to where you are on your path, even if it's information that you thought you already known. You see what I mean? I hope so. And so I really want you to like pause this video and just really, really deeply do some reflection right now as we speak like really really deeply reflect you know turn off all of the distractions you know get away from facebook get away from instagram get away from snapchat get away from youtube um take get away from people and just really just go within yourself and just reflect deeply on where you're at right now and where you want to be and if where you are is not where you want to be ask yourself why am i not where i want to be and then if you want to, you can go ahead and type in the comment section below on the insights that you've had from your self-reflection, if you choose to do so. But anyways, let's get back to the topic at hand. So I've also learned that insight that I just mentioned about, you know, the universe not giving you information just to give it to you, but also it's gonna keep repeating to you the information that you need to know, even if it feels redundant to you, you're gonna keep getting that piece of information until you learn it and you would apply it on a day-to-day -day basis and you're not just, you know, hearing the information and then just kicking it off to the curb and saying, you know what, like, this, this don't really matter. Because I have been doing a lot of that but as you can see, the universe will keep repeating that same lesson to you over and over again until you finally grasp it and you finally learn it, right? And then also another insight that I've had from um, self-reflecting is, you know, just me being oblivious to the answers, right? Or choosing to be oblivious because that's the worst thing of being oblivious not just because you're like, you generally don't know it, but because you know the truth and you know the bigger picture, but you just choose to just push it off to the side just because you know it's not what you wanna hear. And I have been guilty of that, big time. Because I find myself a lot of times asking God slash the divine, my soul team, my higher self, my spirit guides, for the answers to my specific circumstances. I'm like, why am I not where I wanna be? Why do things seem so complicated? Why can't they just be simple? Well, you know, 
the universe just gave me a friendly reminder like, dude, I've given you the answers that you were looking for, but you just chosen to ignore it and you just go, just stay in your comfort zone, you know, just because it's familiar to you. And speaking of that, I remember when I woke up this morning, my significant other sent me a video by Steve Harvey about getting out of your comfort zone, right? So that was another synchronicity that I've received because last night, on top of those synchronicities that I've just mentioned and also the others that, you know, I don't think I'm gonna have time to list, but, you know, just this one this morning recently, you know, it was a yet another friendly reminder from the universe. You need to step out of your comfort zone, Evan. And by the way, if you don't know, Evan is my real name. You know, specifically Evan Youngblood Williams. So if you didn't know that already, now you know. <laughs> but anyways, back to it. So as I was watching the video, you know, I just, you know, it was just like a real big reminder from the universe. Dude, you got to step out of your comfort zone. You got to stop doing these habits that don't serve you anymore, dude. Because how can you expect different results and the changes to happen into your reality and to get to where you want to be if you're not willing to let your old self die so that your real authentic self can emerge and it can fully express itself through you. Because it can't if you just keep doing the same old bullshit over and over and over and over again. So... <laughs> You know, it's like self-reflection is really, really powerful, right? It is so, 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 so powerful. And not, and many of us don't make the time to do it. But I, rec but I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do so. So, that, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. I just wanted to cover this video real quick and share my story with you guys. Because I got plenty of stories. To go on for days this video will be way longer than what i intended to be if i went into every single little detail but if you guys like the content so far make sure to press that subscribe button and also make sure to hit the bell right next to it once you subscribe so that you can get notified on every video that i upload i do these videos daily i upload as much as i possibly can because i have a really really busy schedule i'm in college plus i'm a filmmaker and an actor so as you can imagine my schedule is pretty freaking hectic and busy but i make time to make these videos for you guys that do enjoy the content but if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope that you've enjoyed hearing my story thus far and you've enjoyed the content. Make sure to go watch my um, previous four videos that I've uploaded. And if you want to subscribe and hit that bell. And also leave in a comment section, what is your biggest takeaway from this video? And also share this video on all your social media platforms and with your friends and family. You know, if you believe that they're going to benefit from this information that I'm giving. And last but not least, make sure to leave donations to the channel if you so want to. And the link to my PayPal is in the description if you would like to leave donations. And as always, welcome to the House of Greatness. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys next time. Hello guys, I am the owner of 8 Mil Productions, a video production company that makes music videos, narrative films, music videos, and also edits videos for anyone who doesn't have the time to edit them. You can contact me via my social media and my email. My email is 8millproductions at gmail.com. My Facebook is Evan Youngblood Williams, and my Instagram is at Spiritual Intellect. My rates vary and I am looking forward to working with you. Have an amazing day.